Hello and welcome to this week's Trade Radiators video. Today we're going to show you another method of adding inhibitors to your heating system by putting it directly into the radiator using a pressure sprayer. It's a very common way for plumbers to do it if you're installing it onto a pressurised heating system and it's also probably one of the more complex ways of doing it. So it's a good idea to only tackle this problem if you've got a reasonably grounded knowledge in the system that you're using and you've done some plumbing before. Before we start, remember to turn off your heating system and make sure that everything's safe, make sure the boiler's off and it's completely electrically isolated. And then we can move on to the next stage. Basically what we use is a standard pressure sprayer just like this and on the end we make an adapter that will get this hose pipe into our radiator. But often you can get the normal adapters when you actually buy the inhibitor. Just make sure to have a look when you do buy it. So what we have to do is turn this radiator off at both ends. Then we use a standard radiator bleed key and a towel to open up this valve here. This is the air valve. Dissipate any pressure in the radiator. As you can see, there's nothing coming out, which means that our valves are holding. What I'll now usually do is wrap a small amount of PTFE around this thread here, and you'll have to do that with any attachment that you use as well. Then I'll get my adjustables and remove this nut on here. There'll be a small amount of water come out, but I'll be really nice and quick before I pop my valve in here. See how quick it was there? And just knit this up a little bit. Now I attach my hose to the valve I've got on here. Knit that up lightly. So as you can see, now we are in the radiator going to our hose that leads off to our pressure sprayer. So all we need to do now is open up our inhibitor and pierce the lid. Get our pressure sprayer, we take the lid off that, and then we pour in our inhibitor. Now, I'm not going to pour all the inhibitor in here, because I actually want to save this for use in our next video. Now, what we need to do is just give it a few pumps. And we'll just pump all our inhibitor in here. And then you hear that's the air going in now. Keep giving it a good pump, pump more air in. The idea is we're going to pump air in down here so when we dissipate our pressure in a minute, we won't get loads of water coming out. Right, so there we go. A little bit of a leak up here, that's fine. Now, we release our pressure here. And we should find now that this is completely empty, but also we've got a nice cushion of air in the top here. We've shut this valve now, we've shut this valve, we've allowed all the inhibitors to go into the system, and basically we're ready to remove our equipment, bung up the radiator and turn it back on and get the system running. So, what we do is this. Get ready with our bung, and pop that back in there. And we shut this valve here. And we open this valve here and we open our lock shield at the other end. Now all we need to do is vent this radiator of the air that we had at the top of it. Always catches you out doesn't it? Now you can turn back on the system and vent it out accordingly and also set the pressure to where you think it should be if it's a pressurised system. If you've got a feed and expansion system you shouldn't really have to do anything although you might want to pop up into the loft and just make sure that everything's okay. Please watch our next video where we're going to show you why you actually should put inhibitor in your system because it's really really important. If you need any more help or any more information please visit our website at traderadiators.com. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.